What a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. I should use my provisions wisely. It'll be a long journey. Why did I pack a pair of socks anyway? My current ones will easily last for another month. There's a mountain of trash behind it. Tch, reminds me of my ex-home. I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I'd better leave it closed for now. A well-oiled gearbox. A wire grating. There's a shaft leading upward behind it. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh! I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here <laughs> got a bolt cutter? It already has plenty of oil stains. <laughs> the shape reminds me of something. I've got a foot in the door, so to speak. <laughs> Not as strong anymore, are we? <laughs> Not as strong any- This is unbelievable! This is just impossible! I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? All of the Organon are involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysium, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Go. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke! A real Orbit Pixie! I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! One step closer and mayhem will ensue. She's really hot. She really suits me. Take that! No, don't! Ah! Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. Uh. Uh-uh.
Ouch. I was so close. But no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Hmm, locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh, well, that could spell anything. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Lobo is looking for a new hammock. Well, that makes sense. The old one wasn't fireproof. Uh, Inspector Gizmo investigates the tunnel collapse in Sector 17. Uh-oh, I hope nobody checks out the gym. George is giving away a young calf. Luckily, he's always been a bit short-sighted. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure... I mean, there wasn't... You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> if anything, he seems even more bored now. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax for the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <coughs> oh, draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. Hardly ever saw such stupid hats. Hardly ever saw such stupid hats. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone... <coughs> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. How does this waiting number thing work? Do I really have to explain that to you? <coughs> Did you fall on your head as well? Yes, actually, but I was able to roll with the punch. Well, obviously you started rolling too late. 
The thing over there is the waiting number dispenser. You receive a waiting number, you just take one, and then you wait until the number comes up. <coughs> your number. Hold your horses, not so fast. How am I supposed to take notes like that? Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <coughs> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotec thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. No, really. Let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying. And half sad. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. I'll skedaddle. I'll skedaddle. I hate lines. Number 66! Almost my lucky number. Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in the trash heaps.
Those notice boards are... Goal! I have to talk to her. She's gotta know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good. But do it someplace else. What are you waiting for? Help her! I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. That sounds funny. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you wouldn't get it. I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. Fire! Impossible. My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Robbery! Impossible. My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? 
All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvac is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But... No. Bummer. Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Hey, goal! Goal! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Huh, obviously there's a preparation for a celebration going on. Bad la... Uh, something. Rue... Huh? 